I'm Kevin Allison from the Marion County Soil and Water Conservation District. Um, we're here in downtown Indianapolis at Pleasant Street Produce where the grower is using ecology and biomimicry of nature to produce mixed vegetables for the benefit of soil health and water quality. The way we're mimicking nature is by keeping a living root in the ground as much as possible. We can do this through intensive gardening through the summertime um, and early spring and late fall um, and then we can use cover crops during times that normally would be fallow. This grower has actually had cover crops growing um, that were planted in the fall and now growing into the spring. Um, so they've been capitalizing on photosynthesis and we're basically turning carbon dioxide into sugars that will eventually feed our plants and feed ourselves. One good strategy is to plant transplants after spring growth cover crops. We're just chopping down the cover crop and planting the transplant right into it. It's good because when we leave that mulch on the soil surface, um, we get a lot of water conservation. We also keep that biology intact under the ground, um, so those microorganisms will be transferring nutrients back and forth from the plant to the soil, um, so we can have a good, healthy plant. Here's an example of a tomato plant that was transplanted into a cut-down cover crop in the spring. Um, here we've got a lot of biomass or mulch um, sitting on top of the surface. Um, eventually this will decompose um, and the nutrients will become part of our soil and become available to this tomato transplant. So this mulch is thick enough to give us a good weed suppressing mat throughout a lot of the season. As it decomposes though, we may need to add a little bit of extra mulch. Um, the idea is to just keep this covered throughout the season. In the fall, when this mulch is breaking down, um, we can actually pull the mulch away and seed a cover crop into the soil. Or if it's broken down enough, we might be able to just come and seed on top of the mulch and get a good cover crop stand. When we have mulches and growing vegetables, it can increase our plant health. The plant actually is not touching a bare soil, which could, which could lead to disease. Um, so we've got it covered and we've got the vegetable plant growing up through that. This grower is growing mixed vegetables on an acre. Um, so here he's got a cover crop that was planted in the fall. Um, he's got a lot of spring growth here. He's actually gonna be taking about 10% of his ground here and planting a summer cover crop. So this year, this will not be in vegetable production, but on the other hand, he's actually gonna be biologically priming the soil and building soil organic matter um, for years to come. The reason that we try to promote gardening like this is because we want to promote a healthy biotic community in the soil. Um, so we want a living soil that's going to be giving us nutrients. We don't want to be tilling very often or not at all. That really destroys the soil structure. We really need that soil life to be giving us nutrients and cycling nutrients. All that good stuff in the soil is going to end up bringing the plant more nutrition, um, which can give us more nutrition as well. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you need more information, don't hesitate to reach out to your local soil and water conservation district or local growers. Um, we hope you can use some of these practices to make a difference.